Yeah, I've been getting a lot of questions as to why I'm actually still living in Bath this year. I did drop out of Bath University to work full time for this tech startup called Manor. I'm still working for them, building out other areas of my life as well, such that I can move into other things in the future. But I no longer go to the university. I'm still living here in Bath with my university students. So how do we get it? Well, annoyingly, just before I dropped out of mechanical engineering, I had already signed the house contract for Bath this year. And rather than spend all of the fuss trying to find new tenants, I thought, fuck it. Why not live here? I still like the social. I still love the people I'm living with. It's a great environment. Let's just work from here. That's where we are. Bath University, second year accommodation, but I don't actually go here. I'm working from home. Sick. Let's move in. Saturday, 17th of September. Pretty hungover. But it's moving day. Let's get there. What should we like turn headed, get caught, swing, snap your head open here? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got it. You got it. <laughs> It's a go time. Let's get it. Oh, we're still here, flipping coins about what's to come. It starts getting cold. Okay, so when we finally got here, we arrived, had a quick look around the house. My parents had never seen it. And we got to work straight away. First things first, I had to get rid of that shitty desk in the corner, build my own standing desk, get that up. Once that was all up, we hit a massive food shop, got all of the essentials. I need a hell of a lot of food because I'm still bulking. Trying to pack on as much muscle as humanly possible. And yeah, that comes with eating a hell of a lot. Anyway, finished the day off with dinner with the parents. A great vibe, ended up saying goodbye to them that night. Headed to bed, time for day two. Okay, here's another next day. I didn't manage to get a workout in yesterday and the Queen has obviously passed. So gyms and stuff aren't open on Monday. So I need to hit two workouts today. So it's currently 6 a.m. I'm gonna go hit the first workout. It is also cold, it is also dark. Don't know my way around, don't know which gym I'm going to. So when I put that, I'm gonna go. I also need to sort this room out. Because right now, not much in it. Not looking that good. Fuck, let's get some energy. And let's go. <laughs> It's freezing this morning and I'm dying, but weather is immaculate. I'm very excited to get to the gym. Productivity is kicking off today and it's a very, very good first day. E5. The sun is immaculate, like the sky, everything's just beautiful. Plan is get back, shake, decorate room, munch, edit, gym, edit, sleep. Sick. Okay, we're in a complete blank canvas of a room at the moment. First step is just getting rid of all this crap. So first of all, this table. That's all done. And now we've got to go to the desk. And then last little bit, this. Cool. But I also want to change the bed sheets because this colour doesn't really quite go. And I really want a more modern feel. So let's change them. So much better. Okay. Right, so now all we've got to do is sort all of this out. So basically you've got gym stuff, food, electrics, toiletries, miscellaneous, and then like study slash work stuff. I basically need to distribute this throughout the room, but I've got no space here, like in any of the drawers. I have this really thin drawer here, and then I've just about got some space in my box, but it's not looking good. So what I'm thinking of doing is putting up the photos and stuff first. I'm actually swinging into town, picking up some like shelves, picking up some new like plants and stuff, just to make the room look a bit more homely, maybe some posters, and then we'll sort all of this out later. Let's get the photos up, let's get all the electrics out, and let's go to town, let's get all that stuff. Oh, wow. I've just been around and measured everything in the room So I know that there is space to put something under the desk For storage, just to the left of the desk Something potentially here Like yeah, just more storage, more convenience And then potentially something just next to the bed Like a little table So, I'm gonna swing by Ikea and try and pick up everything I can To make this room as good as possible I love Ikea. I'd never actually been before, but this shop was magical. I went in for a single set of shelves, ended up spending two hours just walking around the shop until it closed, came out, £250 lighter in the bank, a tree, two sets of shelves, loads of fake plants, and just miscellaneous crap. Was it worth it? 100%. Okay, we went a tiny bit mad. Uh... Yeah. 
Just take some live in the flesh To help you work out that stress I bring the vibe and great sex My mood is at an apex So you hate, I know you hate it When I gotta leave It's a tree <laughs> Oh my god Why have you got a tree? Right, now I've put my uh, true engineering skills to the test I've got to build these So uh, let's see how it goes How oh, uh, good I see when I see yeah. Guess what? Okay, now it's built. I'm just gonna see if it actually fits with everything else. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that this fits next to the plant without like being too much of an interruption for work. I'd f***ed up. Once I put the shelves, once I put the tree in place, I realized it didn't fit. See, now that just looks way too crowded. So I just stood there staring until I could try and figure out how the hell this was gonna fit in the room. But we eventually did. Now the leg of the desk is actually under the leg of the bed, but it works. It is a bit tight though. If you let me out my way, no you want it to. I can see it on your face, yeah. All right. On to the big boy. We fight here more than we sex. I know it feel like we trouble. We take that feeling from up to you the piece of my puzzle. And I'm the reason you're breathing. Don't get it twisted, I want you. But I can see you don't need me. Yeah. Anyway, now the room's finally sorted. So this is what it was before, and this is it now. Anyway, now that we've all moved in, what's my plan for the year? I'm no longer at university, so what am I doing? Recently, I've been feeling very lost. I can't lie, it has been stressful, a lot of uncertainty, and it's really affected my mental health. As a result, and now that I'm finally in one place, not really traveling around, not really moving place to place, I'm running Project 50. Waking up early every day and following those seven rules. If you wanna check out the rules, those are the rules. And I'm hoping this helps me to establish a routine that I've been lacking recently, and allows me to work both at Mana full-time and build out everything else I'm working on outside of Mana. So that hopefully in 50 days time, or maybe in a year's time, who knows how long it's going to take. I have a self-sustained support system to be at the foundation for me to bounce off of to work on anything that I want to work on. Yeah, sounds complicated, I know. But let's see where it goes. Otherwise, now that I moved back in, there was only one thing left to do. That is hit a fat, fat night out. In Bath, the big nights are Tuesday Night Labs and Monday Night Bridge. Monday Night Bridge was no longer a thing, but the same company moved Monday Night Bridge to Monday Night Comedia. So we thought we'd give it a go. And yeah, it did not disappoint. Yeah. 